In this video, we're gonna take a quick look at two different AppSumo deals. One of them is called Missing Letter and the other one is named Planable. Hi, my name is Adam from WPCrafter.com where I make tutorials for non-techies. If you're new here, consider clicking on the subscribe button and if you don't wanna miss a thing, click on the bell icon. Now, here are these two deals that are on AppSumo right now. One of them's Missing Letter and I gotta tell you, this is actually the second time this has hit AppSumo. It came out last year I bought it last year and when I bought it I liked it I started using it and then I hated it and I hated it and I hated it but I think it was in December or late November they had a new update that they pushed out to the platform that made me love it again and I'm gonna explain this deal and also I'll talk briefly about Planable which is kind of similar it's a social media posting tool there are some clear differences so they're both uh, missing letters 50 bucks and Planable's only 40 bucks now what missing letter does is really neat I'm gonna show you it in just a moment what it does is if it's actually ideal if you have blog posts on your website or if you have cl a client and it's on your client's website and you're publishing blog posts. So what this will do is it will notice when you publish a blog post, it will look at your blog post, it'll take the images, it will take the text, and it will pull out snippets of that and create a drip fed schedule of social media posts that will be spread out. I think it's over 12 months. And so then you would log, then it will send you an email notifying you that, hey, we saw this new blog post and we put this together for you. All you need to do is come and check it out and approve some of these social media posts. Now, its main feature, well, that's one of its main features, obviously, but one of its main feature is when it's scanning the text. Let me see if I can get an example here. When it's scanning the text, it will take maybe a, a profound sentence that, or a sentence it thinks is profound. It'll take that and it will automatically create these images that will go say on Twitter or Facebook or wherever you're it's automatically publishing it and it makes these really nice looking quote images and here's an example right here now when this came out last year it was very limited in the quote images and that's why I ended up really hating and not using missing letter at all I really hated it it was these off colored blues and there was zero customizability on what what these images would look like and on top of that there, there was only one standard image there wasn't a couple to choose from so I was that's why I didn't like it and I thought they should have multiple templates but they actually won up everyone's what everyone was thinking and they came out with a way and I'm going to show you where you can make this totally look however you want it to look and so that I think is where the real power and value is in missing letter is essentially it saves you time if you want to effectively market your content. So for example, you put all this effort and energy putting together a great blog post, but that's only part of what you need to do. Now you need to actually market that blog post and get it out there and get it out to any of your social media followers. And that's what this does is it saves you all the time and effort of manually creating a social media campa campaign. And let's face, the, face it, it's tedious to create a social media campaign for any bit of content. And the honest answer is most of us don't even do it. Most of us don't take those extra steps, which are the most important steps with your content, to take it and to post it on social media with some different variations of it to get new attention to it and have it drip feed out over a period of time. And that's what this does. It's a really great deal. It's a lifetime account. You don't have to pay any monthly fees. Um, there's uh, It connects to multiple social profiles. You can have a staff member log in and manage it. And there's a little bit of managing that needs to go on because when it sees you have a new blog post, it just grabs content and decides what it thinks is important to push out there and market. So let me actually show you the uh, that branding image thing that uh, this is the main feature that this does. 
And next, let's just talk quickly on Planable. Planable is just a simple, basic social media scheduler. That's all that it really is. But what is unique about it is if you're in a situation where you have clients and you need to collaborate on every little piece of content that goes out on social media, then this is a great platform for that. It's basic, but what it's not basic in is it has this collaboration. So I personally don't have a need for that collaboration feature. I'm a solo preneur. I don't need to put something in Planable and, and have someone else spot check it. If I have a typo, oh well, I'll just live with it. I don't need that extra eyeballs on the social media that I put out. So that's what it does and what it does really good. If you have a client, you're doing social media campaigns for them and they are the type of client that wants to spot check everything, you definitely would need something like Planable, a platform like it. Okay, here's Missing Letters website. I love their branding. It's just beautiful website and I it carries through into the back end. Here's the back end of the platform. Now, I got to be transparent with you that right now I'm not able to fully leverage Missing Letter and that's why this might not be great for everyone. I said right up front it's for blog posts, but not just a blog post. It needs to be blog posts that are heavy on content or at least have a decent amount of content. So if you look at my website, a lot of the posts can be kind of on the lean side. It's really just another place to put my videos. So if someone's on my website and they do a search, they can easily find my videos. But I, I drop the ball completely when you look right underneath the video and that's for the actual content there. So I'm working on correcting that so I can't really fully leverage this right now, unfortunately, because I don't have meaty blog posts. However, I recently hired a content writer and hopefully we'll fix that soon. So this is where I think this is the real main money feature, the main differentiator. What really makes this really cool is these branding images or these images where it takes this snippet of text. And what they did to delight me was they added the way for you to totally customize every aspect of how this looks. And this is actually what I came up with. I have my green that you see me use all the time. And there's all these different options that you have here to edit this. You can even have your own custom background image. I think I'm going to switch to that and have my designer do something with this block concept that you see all over my website. So when you click on the edit here, you can start customizing how this will look. You can change the background, you can change the speech bubble. So right now it's an outline bubble, but then there's all these different options right here that you can choose. I really like the one that I had though. All right, there we go. Um, and uh, the quote, you can change your fonts. You can totally have this match your brand and create these social media images for you automatically with profound things that you say. I know you've got some great profound things that you think of and you say, and this is gonna automatically create those for you. And you have all of these branding options. I liked the way that I made this one look myself, but I am gonna do a different background image. It's really, really cool. Um, and then you essentially, let me see if I can uh, click around and see one of the campaigns. Okay, so here, I'm gonna click on campaigns right here and it's going to show me some of the blog posts that it found on my website and so here is one of them so what happens is when it saw this blog post on my website it emailed me and said hey we see this we put together a campaign for you why don't you log in and review that campaign so then I would log in I would click on review the campaign what I'm going to really have to do is click on regenerate I'm going to have to get wait till my content writer fills out some good content and then click on regenerate so right here you can see it's just so lean it's not really finding any content so this probably isn't the well let's see let's review content let's see if I even wrote anything with it I hope I did maybe it'll take my title let's see um, so uh, while it's doing this real quick uh, let's see providing custom content for your social profile I'm just gonna click off that here and okay so it is finding stuff right here so it's saying on day one 
it's suggesting posting this. You can change the image. You can change the text. You can change the tags. It's suggesting this. And then here's a social uh, media image. Uh, let's see what it says. And so this is actually, it thinks that this is like a profound thing I'd want. Uh, let's see. And that's okay. I probably wouldn't want it to say that. But it looks like I can uh, uh, change my quotes here. Oh, there we go. Right there. Let's see this if I can find something good. All right. So, okay, so it's having several things that it thinks that I might want to have published out on social media. And you notice this right here on the left right here. It says day zero. So this is what would go out right away. Three on day three, day seven. And when you scroll down, it's going all the way out to a year in the future. And this is actually really good. So essentially in According to this schedule, it's going to push out your content on your social media profiles. Now, I'll be honest, typically I don't like automated reposting. Like if I'm on Twitter and I've followed someone on Twitter and all they do is repost, auto post stuff, it does get on my nerves after a while. So this is something you want to be careful with. You want to make sure each little post that it puts out actually provides some value or sparks some curiosity and you're sending them to something that is relevant. So if you're posting something on your blog as a blog post that you know has a 30-day shelf life, you don't want to be posting this out automatically a year into the future. It's going to make you look really bad. It's going to make your profiles look automated and when they look automated people don't want to follow you because the only reason I really follow people is because I want to know updates current updates I want val I want to get value out of it and you definitely want to be someone that provides value so that's why you really when you're in here you want to be looking at this schedule and see if, if do you need to post something uh, a year out in the future and not every post you're going to want to publish through missing letter. However, I will say that this is a great tool and I would I would say if you're someone writing blog posts, this could pretend and, and you have you want to get a little more social media traction or have a little bit more activity on your social media. This could be a must buy for you. It's certainly a top quality platform. It is growing. It is very polished at this stage. And I think it provides a ton of value and automation for you that you could go in and tweak it manually to have it be something that really saves you time and can bring eyeballs, fresh eyeballs back onto your website. So this is Missing Letter. I'll have a link in the video description box down below. Uh, or you can go to wpcrafter.com slash missing letter, one word, and it's spelled funny like that, M-I-S-S-I-N-G-L-E-T-T-R. Now, AppSumo comes out with a lot of stuff, and I actually wanted to show you something funny. I should have shown you in the, the beginning. Here it is. I was on uh, Facebook today, and uh, I saw a post from Lee Jackson. He's one of my Facebook friends. He runs the Agency Trail Trailblazer podcast, and there's also a private community. And on his private Twitter profile, I mean, uh, Facebook profile, he wrote, AppSumo has a lot to answer for. Stop taking my money. And funny enough, uh, four, five hours later, AppSumo replied, Hey Lee, is there something that we can help you with? Email us and we want to make you happy. And I thought, man, AppSumo is using its own, using these tools it talks about because number one, they must have had a tool that was finding people that type anything that includes the word AppSumo and lets them know so that they can be on top of it and respond. I thought that was pretty awesome. Maybe it's Awario or Awario, which is a tool that's probably going to be coming out soon. Maybe that's what uh, triggered this, but I thought this was actually very, very impressive. So anyways, I write uh, also AppSumo reviews. They're on my website. If you click on the forum on my website, there's a link right here. I might not do a video of you review, but I will put a written review there in the forum on products that I don't get around to. So anyways, missing letter. I think it's a really good buy. I think it's a really good buy. 
Planable, I think it's good too, only if you need that collaboration aspect. If you don't need that collaboration aspect, I wouldn't go the um, go with Planable. Uh, that's a real big benefit of it. So anyways, thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions about missing letter, ask me down below. I'll be glad to answer it uh, in any way. And other than that, thanks for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one.